Hey, so today I'll be talking you through my new telescope, which is the William Optics FLT91 triplet refractor. Um, and also I'll be taking you through my imaging session later on. If we haven't met, I'm Clem and welcome to my channel Astrofishing. So first of all, it's an absolutely huge refractor telescope. Uh, in comparison to my previous one, the Cinestar 61, it's it's double the weight it's it's just an absolute monster um so just a few things to show you around uh this is what my imaging train looks like so i've got the um my modified canon 800d at the back and then the uh adjustable flattener and reducer which reduces it by um 0.8 and then here which is wonderful is this very solid camera rotator you can go 360 degrees all the way around tie it down and it's rock solid um, and then this is as usual the focuser here you can take this cap off uh, to then have your fine tuning for the focus uh, here as well it's got the temperature gauge on this side uh, what I find quite useful as well is this carry handle. Um, although in reality you probably put your guide scope or um, whichever computer you use, mini computer to put on top. Um, and then as usual, the front, the dew shield extends um, and the lens cap comes with the uh, included button off mask. Um, in comparison as well to my previous scope, I mentioned this is significantly heavier. Um, so I've made that purchase just for having a wide field uh, triplet um, to use from, from my back garden. And um, it's not so much, I, I, would I wouldn't class it as much as a, a travel scope uh, just because of its weight and it's probably not suitable or most definitely not suitable for uh, something like a star adventurer because it's just too heavy. Um, but also the dovetail is very solid, big, so you won't have any, any issues balancing this on, on your mount. So before I continue talking any further, let's go outside, set up, and I'll be taking you through my imaging session. Hey, um, so what I'll be doing uh, next is um, just uh, taking some uh, flat frames, as you can see in the background. Um, but uh, we probably have about uh, 45 minutes left until it's dark um, and I'll be starting the polar alignment uh, routine. Shortly after that we'll focus and slew to the target. Uh, the target today is going to be uh, M81, M82 which is the boats in Sega Galaxy uh, and as mentioned before it lies around um, 12 million light years from Earth uh, in the constellation of Ursa Major. 